Polling is underway in Punjab. It's a political pot boiler right there with the Ahmadmi Party versus the Congress Party. Joining me now is Raghav Chadda of the Ahmadmi Party. Raghav, you've put out a series of tweets just recently, and I'm just going through all of them. You have accused both the Congress and Shirmani Akali Dal of impairing the EVMs, not letting the people of Punjab cast their vote. What are your allegations at this point? Look, we are getting feedback from the ground. <clears throat> from uh, across the state of uh, in some parts uh, the evm has malfunctioned in some parts uh, voter suppression is happening by uh, you know ensuring that there are long queues and the process is delayed in order to uh, discourage voters to cast their vote and in some cases minor incidents of violence as well as attempts to boost capture have been reported we have informed the election commission the local administration the returning officer the election observers as well as the punjab police of each such incident i have also put out all such uh, you know information that we have received on uh, my twitter account uh, and i have uh, tagged the election commission of india so that uh, they can uh, respond to it and initiate action whatever we are learning from the ground we are putting it out in full transparency we have a robust uh, organization in the state of punjab and each polling station each polling booth is manned by aam aadmi party's workers and its cadre uh, this is a big day it's uh, it's perhaps the biggest festival of democracy the state yes. of punjab is uh, you know has gone to polls and today seeds of uh, you know a prosperous and a progressive punjab will be sown i do hope that people step out in large numbers to cast their votes they should not come under any influence absolutely not Co under coming, the influence coming coming back to your uh, allegations raghav your critics might just call this a case of sour grapes how would you respond to that no sour grapes i am still very confident that we are winning and we are winning this is a landslide you can record this you can record my video and yeah. on the 10th of march when the results come out you can play it again this is a landslide victory in the favor of the aam aadmi party and uh, we are not uh, uh, flustered we are not uh, you know uh, sort of tensed or worked up or any such thing however as a as a as a participant in these elections it is our responsibility that in any place where a free and fair election process is being tinkered with we must inform the election commission and the authorities and where we are yes. essentially aiding and assisting the election commission in its principal responsibility of conducting free and fair polls in the country you just mentioned that record this statement we are winning with a landslide victory where does this confidence or rather over confidence come from what makes you so confident to well, win punjab is, well it what makes us very confident is that we work very hard on the ground okay Uh, all of us under the leadership of my leader mr kejriwal have worked very very hard over the last few months and uh, it is with our personal assessment reading understanding of the state the issues of the state and the mood of the state that we are saying that we are comfortable we are comfortably placed but of course uh, a few more hours of voting is left four hours of voting is left i urge people to step out in large numbers to step out and cast their vote uh because you know in in some cases sometimes uh, you know people don't uh, step out thinking oh you know this party is already winning and uh, we have often seen that that is the reason why you know the the voter percentage falls so therefore i urge each uh, one of you from punjab who's watching this uh, to please step out and cast your vote this is your day to exercise your franchise and please do not come under any influence what for the party that you think and what for the well, candidate the, that you think absolutely the people of punjab the, the people of punjab will decide who they want to see in power and we will know that but uh, as far as the aam aadmi party is concerned there have been several allegations terror charges khalistani link the former aid kumar vishwas <laughs> has made all these charges as well do you see these as impediments because there's been too much of political bickering that has taken place i think i think every uh, political observer knows that this muck and dirt uh is thrown at the aam aadmi party 72 hours 48 hours prior to the election merely to you know uh, uh, merely to bring it down with the attempt of you know uh, 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 uh trying to sort of malign its reputation and i think um this kind of uh, for the lack of a better word monkey crap doesn't fly anymore 
people know people understand what these charges are what the motivation behind these charges are and i don't even wish to dignify it with a response i think people of punjab have made up their mind and they want to see kejriwal model of governance Since you speak about Kejriwal model of governance, you are of course referring to the Delhi model of governance. How do you plan to replicate in Punjab in case you come with the landslide win like you mentioned? Look, every state has its uh, you know challenges, and the characteristics of the administration as well as the state are different. But yes, we have an overarching Kejriwal model of governance. uh of education of healthcare in the power sector in the sector of water resources etc that we've implemented in delhi which is a tried and tested model which the people of delhi have uh, voted in favor of overwhelmingly uh, you know election after election and people of punjab and i have personally experienced this in my travels across the state that whenever i go people uh, you know inquire about it they want to experience it they are eagerly waiting for the same kind of model to be implemented in the state of punjab and of course keeping in mind the characteristics of the state the challenges of the state um, the 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 pros and cons of the administration in a state like punjab that model we will of course try and emulate uh, here as well and uh, we have already uh, you know mr k j wad already announced a full blueprint uh as to right. what we will do in each of the uh, sectors critical sectors that fall under the administration of punjab all right always a pleasure talking to you raga thanks so much for joining us